Hey guys, this is Marianne Cleary here and my latest movie is Rings, which I do not like to call it Rings. To me, it is Ring 3. Uh, as you can tell, I have seen the other two rings. I am here actually in Reading, Auburn, which is a little bit of a brand new discovery for me here in Auburn, New South Wales. Uh, it's a little bit of a smaller theatre than what I'm used to, but... Uh, let's go on with the review. Um, can I just say, why release it right at the end of, I'm going to say, summer uh, to you in the US? I think it would, I think, I'm, I think it's out, it was out last week in the US. I'm not sure, but here, um, it was supposed to be released in November last year, as you can tell by the thing. But it was actually released at the end of summer, which for me, can I just say that actually to me felt, feels like it hurts the um, box office to me. It feels like it's um, it would have been suited better to be released in November, which is when it was originally released. In saying they pushed it back is a little bit of a concern um, up, right off the top of the bat. Um, when I hear a movie being pushed back, it's usually because they have to fix something. With it, even it says on the poster it was supposed to be released in November, then said it's going to be released in the end of February. Can I just say that I'm a, I was a little concerned walk, walking in. I heard about um, this uh, particular movie thanks to Comic Con Sydney. Uh, I, uh, I think I've got a, vi a fun video of me at Comic-Con on my, on my feed. I'll, if I don't, I will repost it and I might even put a link down here to the video of they were uh, pushing this at Comic-Con, which is where I first heard about it. And they didn't have like any like stars, but they were like put, like like a booth about the movie and uh, they had like a really weird, really cute video you could take. Um, of this movie and one other thing that made me, when I heard about the movie what a little concern is where's Naomi Watts now you might be asking who, why am I screaming about Naomi Watts sorry for which you your, your name Naomi she was the link of one and two it was sort of her the story and her discovering the VHS of deaths uh, and it was sort of following her story but after seeing this movie I can see why maybe they didn't want to bring back Naomi to reprise maybe to reprise her role I could have seen her actually play um, one of the characters maybe a bit of a guiding character in the movie but I digress um, it's hard for me to jump in a movie theatre, especially in the horror genre. Thank you very much, House of Wax 05. Yes, I did see that movie in theatres, much to my father's chagrin. It's hard for me to jump in a movie theatre, and this is the second time it's happened to me, so good on you. Uh, the first one is Don't Breathe, which I have reviewed. Look at my feed. This movie really delves into like the past about the famous um, ring girl uh, and which I don't think we really explored that in I have um, can I just uh, I, ha um, I, haven't, I haven't really explored it. I should quote that I've only seen one and two once each. So if I am, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm not correct, put it on the comments and yell at me, please. I will be happy for you to yell out. So, and which was so good. Actually, one, two of the the only two lead characters I actors I knew walking in which I didn't know at the time is um Johnny from the big 
Bang Theory is in this. Uh, my brother is a, has, seen, has actually got season one and season two of the Big Bang Theory. And can I just say, he is completely unrecognisable in this role, in this movie. Uh, Johnny, you did a great job. I almost didn't recognise you, my friend. Um, he did a great job um, trying to be a professor and which I think he actually does on the Big Bang Theory, I think. Uh, and the other one is Vince Colosso, uh, which most of you might know from his work on Jurassic Park or the Magnificent Seven remake not that long ago. I think that was came out in the summer. My mother and I went to see it and boy, oh boy, you scared the crap out of me, Vince. You scared the crap out of me. I, I do not. I, I, I was, I was at the edge of my seat. Well done, Vince. Um, but the one that actually I wanted to give a massive shout out is the lead actor. I refuse to call her an actress. Um, actually, the lead, like the lead, lead couple, was so they so well balanced off each other, and you'd find that sometimes that doesn't always happen that they bounce off each other. They really felt like a couple. Uh, the way they were discovering things and the whole atmosphere was oh so so good and. Um, you did, you did a bang up job and wow, I jumped and now I want to get the other two on DVD or Blu-ray whichever way I find it. That is so good. Uh, I can't wait to see what extras um, are on the Blu-ray. That's, that's saying something. Um, This is either a franchise ender or a franchise starter. I'm not really sure at the moment. Um, we'll see how the box office goes. It being released at the early end of fall, almost in the dumping end of fall. Um, I'm not really sure how the box office is going to be. Um, so I don't really know what the box office is going to be. So. If you think I'm wearing Where's Walter? No, I'm not. I like it. Um, I'll probably go and buy it on a Blu-ray. I, I'm giving it a four out of five. It's so well done. It made me. Um, it made me think about like cruelty and it's a it it is a traditional horror movie, but so so well done i loved it and yeah uh yeah i don't know if i'll see it i'll see it again theaters i think this is definitely one um that it's a lot of you've got to almost know um movie one and movie two to really get this so um that's why i'm giving it such high ratings if i walked in not really knowing the ring i think someone would probably give it lower but i as i've said I'm aware of the series, so yeah, um, I can't wait to see what summer is going to bring. Now, I'm recording this on a Friday, and that gives you a clue what my next review is going to be, and I shall see you later.